We're in northern Sweden, the Baltic Sea, very close to Finland. Um, it's 11.30 at night. It's the teams of Explore Sweden will soon start the race. Um, yet, they don't know the race course. They still haven't got their maps or road books. But what I know is that they will run down to the first checkpoints below the lighthouse and then they will coast there along the coastline just behind me here and it's really cold in the water it's like seven degrees and they are equipped with the um, clippers and wetsuits so it will be very cold start of the race and they will be coastering walking the cliffs and swimming between the islands until they reach the transition area where they have to change to um, the next discipline. All the 22 teams are now uh, on the first coastering leg where they will scramble along the coastline, swimming and climbing and running for three, four hours approximately, six kilometers. It will be a very cold start for the, on the race for the competitors and we will see how they are doing when they get up from the water. How is it going Michael? Really good. It's quite cold in the water. But it's for me it's okay so far. And we're doing pretty well I think. Just as we planned in the middle I think in the, in the field. Not our best as you see on Oslo. He's suffering in the water. <laughs> but we're coming. So how do you feel now after the swimming? I'm quite cold. <laughs> And you're looking forward for the, to the bike leg? Well, I hope I uh, will get warm at least. <laughs> How was the swimming? Uh, was it scary? No, not scary at all. Uh, it was just... Uh, well, actually, it wasn't that cold uh, at the time either because we were swimming all the time. So I think we are uh, done to go. <laughs> Good luck. Um, now we're at the transition area. After the swimming, where the teams change for the bike leg. And uh, what we have heard is that uh, teams Seagate from New Zealand, they are, were in the lead with five minutes before the Finns, Team Nokia. Uh, but Team Nokia, they, um, uh, apparently they have spent a lot of time here in the transition area fixing with the bikes at least half an hour. So they lost a lot of time here at the transition area. Uh, third team was uh, Team Maybe from Sweden. And uh, we have also been uh, reported that uh, a Danish competitor in the Danish team um, has a, maybe a broken uh, foot or um, a sprained ankle or, or some bad injury. Apparently he can run, but not very fast. Hey! <laughs> Where's the last? I thought I covered this.